Once you have Rain Meter installed, uh, you want to come to this web address where you can just Google Hardware Info Rain Meter. It should come up. And then you want this first link here. It should work with the latest uh, Rain Meter version. I believe it's 4.0. And then you'll just click it and it should automatically open. And you'll get a pop-up from Rain Meter and just click OK or Accept or whatever it says. And then you should get this bar right here. <coughs> and it may or may not fill in the stats for you. Uh, if it doesn't, then you're going to have to right click on it and then go to, uh, let's go to manage skin and then you want to just refresh and sometimes that'll work. It wor made my GPU start uh, activating, but my CPU wasn't working. I already went and changed the temperature before this tutorial, but I still have the usage to in the fan RPMs. And to change that, we go to, we click this and then edit and you'll get a notepad opened up over here with all these crazy different settings. Uh, don't get too scared about it. Just scroll down and we are looking for for me specifically I'm looking for the CPU which is CPU 0 because it's in the first slot. So I don't want to change the name the usage. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. And then you want to click this button right here, and it'll open up a pop-up. I already have one open. And you want to find your s setting that you need. For me, I'm looking for the usage for this. Let's see. Here we go. Total CPU usage. Alright, now back over here. It says it wants a sensor ID, so that's going to be this first ID up here, and you just want to copy and paste over this. And then it wants a sensor instance, okay, that's this right here, the instance. Copy that, paste, oops, paste that right here. And then it wants an entry ID, and that's this last ID down here. And you, again, you just copy and paste. And then you want to save your changes and go back to this. And if you close it on accident, you can just right click the bars and go to manage skin and then refresh. And see, there it goes, it changed. And then you can just go through here and change any other settings you need. You can change the name, the temperature, the fan. And you just click this bar right here to bring this up and you want to just find the setting that you're looking for and then copy and paste these three little I items into their appropriate slots and you should be good to go after you refresh it thanks for watching